Yep, so this is the beast. Welcome. I'll just press uh, F9, get rid of those. Get off. Right. Uh, welcome to my brand new uh, how to series. Uh, to, uh, I've been asked a few times how, to how do I connect my AE systems in my base from one to the other. As you can see here, we've got two AE systems that are completely separate. Let's wire them both up. Let's wire them. Maybe that will work. Just put some cable between them. You never know, we might be lucky. To be honest, I think not. No. Both are powered up. But if I look in this one, I've got 21 golden pipes. In this, I've got none. And no access. So, how do I do it? Answer's quite simple. First, let me... up. Oh, one thing I'd like you to look at is the power display on this. If you can notice, he's got a colour color display there. And if you'll be watching my Let's Play, you'll notice that that isn't a present in mine. I will show you why. Let's first get rid of all this cable. Now you're going to need a few things for this. How I do it is I use the... I better just say bye to him. Uh, I use... Oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Put that back. Oh, good grief. Stupid, stupid pickaxe. Right, better cheat an MFSU in. Don't worry, everything that I use on this will not be used in the main game. It, I might leave it here for testing purposes uh, when I'm doing a how-to videos, but nothing for the jet for our our game. As you can see, they're both off. Right. So how do I do it? This ME interface and this logistics power junction are the keys to getting it working. Let's just make sure I'm in recipe mode, yeah. Now, the ME interface is quite uh, an expensive block. As we can see, it's the first thing that's quite bad is this conversion matrix. The conversion matrix is uh, the surface Certus quartz and the nether quartz on top and bottom, or either way, it can be either way, and fluix dust on either side of an ME basic processor, and of course the obligatory iron round the edge on the four sides. Now, I'll first show you the ME processor. First, you've got to make it using a quartz cutting knife. Uh, and a gold inlet and a silicon which is used by getting a dust and smelting it then you have to smelt this the result of that and it gives you the basic processor then you have to make this, this fluix dust which is redstone certus quartz dust and nether quartz dust so as you can see it's not a beginner's recipe you've got to be playing the game and got a few resources to get hold of this but you're going to need two of these one for each one or two or more depending on how many uh, systems you're wanting to bring together I'll put this one's interface say here and we'll put his friends about in the same place so we've got that there and that there then you'd require two of these logistic power junctions. Now they're not that bad. They're quite cheap. So if we have a look, this power junction is six iron ingots, three at the top, three at the bottom, 
a block of redstone which isn't that bad but in this particular server you require a compressor to do it but in most servers you won't and then redstone on either side uh, this particular block we place uh, two away so I'll put him there and we'll put him where that daffodil is I do apologize I've got a double click on my mouse that I can't seem to get rid of at the minute it's very annoying now what we what we ought to do now is power up this uh, redstone redstone logistics pipe power junction get away grass get rid of them so we'll take the power into both and if we look at uh, the NEI, uh, the GUI in them, you'll see that we're getting absolutely no power whatsoever because it's coming out of the side. It has to come out of the dot. Uh, so let's bring it out of the dot. And that should now be getting this power. It is brilliant so that was give it getting power and that one's getting power that's what I wanted okay so then what do we require mr. beast what we require is the use of the logistics pipes now if for anybody who doesn't hasn't messed with these before they can be quite intimidating but they're not they're not bad and I will be doing a series on how to use them this, at this point though I'm not going to go too much into depth uh, you're going to need at least a couple of basic logistic pipes you're going to need a couple of requester pipes and you're going to need a couple of provider pipes now it doesn't matter which variants you use whether it's mark ones or mark twos I've personally gone for here for the mark ones of both and what you do with these is you put and it doesn't matter where you would put them so I'll put say a provider pipe there going into this interface and a provider pipe there and then say a requester pipe coming say here and a requester pipe coming here now if you notice everything's red that means I have no power and I've got I'm not part of a network so let's make it think it is now these things you have to put a logistic pipe on and if you notice everything here has gone green we've got green coming from there green there and green there that means first green means I have power second green means I am part of a network this as you can see is still red because that and that are not touching even though there's an interface that that is actually uh, an ME it won't it doesn't it talks to it but not it doesn't pass information the same way so it's like two different the 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 will talk to each other but it takes some doing we'll put that one there again now we're very nearly done believe it or not all we have to do is put ordinary pipes between them both and that is them joined now as you can see we've got green and red green means I have power this means I have power but because these and that and that are not touching it's I've got I'm not part of a network let's make it think it's part of a network and put that there if you notice now everything's gone green it's all green that is excellent but that isn't connected that's the last bit we do all we require now is some ME cable and join them two up do the same on this side join them up if you notice though we're not directly powering our ME network anymore the powers coming into this this is now powering the ME network 
with sharing power. If you also notice the controller now hasn't got the colourful display that it did have, it's got this blue thing. I know when I see that that, that it, they are linked. That shows that these two are now linked. So now if I go over to say this system over here and look in, I've got 21 pipes. If I go over here I've got 21 pipes. The pipes are actually over here. If I take them out and I go over to the other one they're not there. But if I go back over and put them in they're there. Go over, check there it is, they're there. Only trouble is with this system I have to request them. It comes up with this interface when I ask. I could ask for the whole 21 if I want. It will go black for a second. There it is. I've got my pipes. Now the, this is the reasonably cheap way of doing it. There is a harder way which I will go into in a different recipe. But that is the end of this particular episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please, if you have, press the like button. Also, press the subscribe button to get more of this series. I want to thank you, all of you, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now. TTFN. Ta-ra.